Welcome back. This is Fantastic Pains and How We Hide Them. I'm not Chris. And I'm not Karina. And I'm Kaylee. And we're all here together. As unusual. <laughs> With friends. Yeah. Plus friend. Plus friend. Good times. Mm-hmm. And we're back with more nonsense. <laughs> what are we talking about this week? Um, so this week, I wanted to kind of go into, and Morgan and I were chatting a little bit about the like frustration and jealousy that occurs because we have to work so much harder to be like normal. Um, and it fits perfectly with what I've been going through where I've been kind of stuck in this weird feeling of like, it's not fair. Yeah. It's not fair. And I know it's not fair. And usually I'm okay with that, but it's been a struggle. Until you're not. Exactly. <laughs> it's like you're okay with it until it's not okay anymore. Uh-huh. There we go. Becomes a problem. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my. I just tried to fix it, but my hands are vibrating. <laughs> my, um, I had that flicker back in my ear this Ooh. morning and I was like, stop. I hate the hear, like the noise it yeah, makes. Yeah, it just like flickers against my eardrum. Like your eardrum. It's, it's like, if it's. Twitching you, next to your eardrum. Yeah. Can you make the like the whooshy sound in your ears yeah. by like flexing? It's like yeah. that, only like it's a rhythm. It's yeah. rhythmic. Oh. And it just keeps going. Mm-hmm. And it's really easy. It's not fun. And yeah, I don't ever have that like involuntarily. I only yeah. get that when I flex. Yeah. No, it's terrible. And oh, you're showing off. <laughs> when, when, when she's showing, showing off for off boys. Ears. <laughs> the boys like, like Look it. how much I can flex my jaws and ears. <laughs> <laughs> just clenching your teeth. <laughs> Yes. Classy. Now that you have good thumbnails of us making ridiculous faces. Oh, don't do that. <laughs> don't do that. Don't. It's okay. Mine are always way more ridiculous. I don't know what it is. Like, I emote to the next I don't know. I always find them at the best times. I'll just click randomly into a and spot then I'm and be like, like that's, that's it. That's the mood. <sighs> My face. I'm going to do a sitting on the couch and then I'm going to do like one of those like old show circles with Kaylee's face in it oh there you, you go know what I'm talking about like <laughs> uh-huh. guest co- guest starring Kaylee yeah Ta-da. that's my plan yeah it makes me think of like the OU exactly <laughs> <laughs> you make the OU face perfect <laughs> nailed it <laughs> thumbnail right, done we got it awesome we're YouTubers now <laughs> oh no <laughs> please god no we have to go to VidCon fuck I don't like flying then walk. Oh, I will not. <laughs> road trip. <laughs> Kaylee has the best road trips. I do. I, I know. Have. I'm like, I'm <laughs> my best road trips have been with you. So, so you have good road trips with Kaylee. Yeah. Like Drink when out. we got pulled over by the police in the middle of the night in Texas, and you didn't have your <laughs> registration for your car, <laughs> and had an expired ID. <clears throat> that was a good time. We were going 110. Yeah, and I just flashed my blue, my blue eyes at him and was like, I didn't know, and he, he sent us on our way. There's my white privilege. I was going to say, you white passing motherfucker. Ha! <laughs> Tricked him. <laughs> I had to tuck my lips in, though. It's like, this <laughs> Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then when he left, I was like, oh, thank God. I couldn't hold those fuckers back any longer. <laughs> Release the floodgates. It just sounds like you were going to kiss him if you didn't hold if it If I back. had to, I was getting out of this ticket one way or another. And it... I was down. Make out with the cop. He was Send him on too, his way. He? I never really saw him. I was you like, were asleep. I until... was awake enough to hear him, but like not paying attention to him. Yeah, it was a good time. Yeah, no, I did. I did nothing. I should have gone to jail for that. Really. <laughs> I'm so glad he didn't give you a ticket. No, I have yeah. to like go back to middle oh, of God, nowhere, no. Texas. Yeah. Well, it. It was because we were going to your cousin's. It's like it's late. I'm super tired. I was speeding because we're, we're almost, almost there. there. <laughs> yeah. There you go. We weren't almost there. No. <laughs> <laughs> and I did speed again afterwards <laughs> to get there faster. We didn't get there until like the sun was coming like up. Seven a.m. Yeah, we were singing. <laughs> we were singing the opening of the Lion King. You remember that? Peak pajamas, penguins on the bottom. Yeah, like, yeah. We were I also that. remember I told you I just explained the plot of Alice in Wonderland while we listened to the soundtrack. Yeah. <laughs> what the fuck? I have the best road trips for Kaylee. I don't know. <laughs> just saying. That's amazing. Like when we went to San Jose, that was fun. Yeah, like when we were driving through Las Vegas and <laughs> doing the Cha Cha slide. Oh my god. <laughs> and woke busy up. <laughs> that was good. Fantastic. So that was like a, a yearly lifetime check in. I was going to say, <laughs> should we slide up. into our, uh, our weekly, weekly recap? recap? 
Well done, sir. I did it. Good job. I'm learning. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> that right? was impressive. <laughs> Good timing. <laughs> Who's going first? I'll go. Okay. I'll choke first, and oh, then yeah. I'll go. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh. I'll go. Then Kaylee can go. She only has her entire <laughs> life to catch up. Yeah, then... I can start at the beginning. <laughs> you can have your crazy week. My week was painful. <laughs> it was just lots of lots and lots of pain from my hips down. Fair. Because they kept sliding out. I kept sitting at the computer to edit. And we did such a long episode last week. Yeah. Oh, God. It was four and a half hours of footage. And I got it down to an hour and a half. I and don't know, like, how. Cohesive. It is. It's good. <laughs> <laughs> Two cameras, too. Yeah. Uh, it it looks mess. so good, though. I'm like, glad. it looks so good. I'm very pleased. I liked what I saw. Good. So I'm doing something right. Yeah, it's good stuff. But I hurt myself doing that. I stayed up too long. And then. You stayed up for, like, days. Until I get the On edit end. perfect, yeah. It was ridiculous. I needed it to you be You were perfect. just like, I shall never sleep ever again. I shall do stuff instead. I've always been that way. Sleep is for the week. <laughs> Until you're like crying because you need to sleep so bad. Right. Your body's well, like, I, just... I don't remember how to do that. Yeah. <laughs> no there shit. you go. That's how that works. <laughs> what else? Um... You had a heavy edit. Oh, yeah. I was asked to make a, a memorial video for my... My wife's grandfather mm-hmm. passed away. And that was that was intense. It was like 20 minutes long and I had to go through photos. Mm-hmm. And it was just emotional and heavy and fun. Yep. And it took so long because we had to put them in chronological order, but she didn't scan them in that way. So she was sorting them and oh, I'm adding no. them in and adding effects and trying to make it look nice and sound good. Jesus. I apparently did a good job. So Well, I imagine. You know. You, you are kind of good at this. I'm getting better. <laughs> It's like your constant mission. You're just going to keep climbing. Oh, yeah. Yeah. There's always something I could be doing better. Yeah. Like color correction. You could do a lot better on that, dude. (laughs) You suck. Co host. Put that in the Discord. Ouch. Podcast suggestions. I thought you were saying that to me. me. I feel like co hosting. You could do that better. No, no, no. You could have a better co host. You could pull your weight more on the podcast. I don't know. Uh, (laughs) I'm going to have to hire you. I'll be you. Okay. Okay. Good. okay. <laughs> Season three. I'll here be we your go. Stand in. <laughs> <laughs> it got recast. Chris is now. <laughs> oh, that would suck. I thought we were recasting me, but you know no, what? Change people. It turns out good. the polls they really like you. So <laughs> you should put out a poll. Who do you like better? <laughs> There's something wrong with Choose you. Choose your favorite. <laughs> Make us fight the to the loser death. Loser gets kicked from the podcast. <laughs> it gets recast. <laughs> oh my god! We'd have to have like brackets <laughs> to duel in the different categories. Oh, my god. oh, and then to recast, you can do like they did with Jeopardy and have people do trial runs. And then yeah. At the end, pick somebody, but then it turns out they have like a spotted past, and you can't pick them, <laughs> so you have to do it again. <laughs> It, 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 I we're running make, out of funding i would just make it all the guests we've had right so we've had like you benjamin sarah busy busy and yeah. pedro mm-hmm. so like yeah damn that would be that would be intense we the got competition a would be fierce <laughs> lengthy audition process yeah yeah it'll take over a year i don't know how we got here but yeah that was my <laughs> week <laughs> have you had it didn't sleep everything hurts Hi. coffee Co- lots of coffee. coffee. I am caffeine incarnate. <laughs> I was doing double runs every day for the last like three days. Yeah, oh, goodness, it was terrible. So we would get like coffee in the morning, and then at lunch we would reorder and get more caffeine. I wanted to do that today. I was like, ooh, I could go with Jen early and get coffee, and then I can get more coffee. Just, just <laughs> have it delivered midway through, and then we'll have coffee, and then more coffee. Don't tempt me. I'll do it. Don't <laughs> do it, bitch. <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> make it happen. Do it. I'm I mean, not. I'm not. Starbucks tell you isn't no. that far. It's true. Just like on the, take a break. on the intermission, just, just order get ahead. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> we like coffee here. Yeah. We're gonna get sponsored by coffee someday, or make <laughs> our own coffee. A lot of we're people... sponsored by coffee. <laughs> on a regular Not a brand. Show. Coffee, 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 coffee. <laughs> <So sweet. laughs> yeah, it'll be generic coffee. We're funded by generic <laughs> coffee. Generic coffee, just it's like coffee. great All value coffee. coffee. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, we're sponsored by coffee and the like profile pictures just a bean. Yeah. Aww, <laughs> just a coffee bean. bean. What a bean. Coffee. <laughs> <laughs> All 
All right. Well, uh, let's move on. <laughs> Kaylee, do you want to? Do you have anything you want to update since last time you were on? I don't oh, yeah. remember what all has oh, happened. Oh, you could talk about then? the ADHD thing. Yeah, yeah, because we were just it's like upsetting, the very beginning. I know, but... We had a bad week. <laughs> that was two weeks ago, though. Um, I got my diagnosis, which was not ADHD. What it's they just depression. <laughs> okay. It's like, well, like you have all the symptoms of ADHD, but these are also all c- consistent with depression, which we already Por know you no have. Dos. So if you want to get like a solid ADHD diagnosis you have have to to. get your depression under control and see if you still have the adhd symptoms so i'm back on antidepressants but they're giving me one that they also use to to treat adhd so i'm on wellbutrin now and that seems to be helping but i've only been on it for a little bit so that's good any yucky side effects um it's hard to say because i was also sick the the week (laughs) that i started it (laughs) And it was, I can't tell what was what. Yeah. yeah. I felt like shit, and I don't know what caused which things. <laughs> How do you feel now? Fair. Like, um, currently. I have a headache. <laughs> yeah, everyone's had headaches. Yeah. Jen, Jen's been dying. I've had a headache for, it's just been carrying for like four days now. Yeah. It's just so bad. <sighs> it's your turn. It's my turn. Yeah. My week was fun times in hell. Uh,. <laughs> <laughs> we started the week with like six staff members out and then it turned into seven staff members out and then it turned into our math teacher walking out for lunch and never coming back ever <laughs> um and so i've been oh like run completely just run ragged all mm-hmm. week all week long and like trying to manage the destruction he left in his wake um he didn't even finish grading the week before he like just dipped just out. literally bailed. He, he literally like, just I mean, bailed. If you were and then gonna like, bail, would you finish grading? No. And then he was like, I Why wouldn't go in that day. He though? told my boss, he was like, I wouldn't have left if I thought that they needed me. And I was like, you Is that his thing? Please like, excuse me. He didn't have one of those like great great teacher Onizuka moments where like he, he changed a life. He just is crazy. He's a crazy person. I saw the website and it's like Yeah, no, you showed me. It's very strange. Twenty five hundred dollars for a private tutor. No thank for you. For math. Very strange. It was just weird. Yeah. But yeah, so that was that. And then I've just been like, just so exhausted. <clears throat> and my husband has, he, he was home until Friday, but he's not been feeling well because he had COVID. Yeah. Um, Which was fine. Like it wasn't a big deal at all. It was really like, it was, it was more mild than having a cold. Right. But the fatigue was really bad. Yeah. And so now he understands fatigue. So I was like <laughs> that, how you feel right now. That's my all the time, constantly, forever. And he was like, that sucks. And I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah it does. <laughs> I'm so tired that my brain is like, it might be easier if you just die. Yeah. What is it like to not be tired? I don't know. I've never had that. No, if, if you caffeinate or anything, you're just feeling like you can do things while being I just being get fatigued. more momentum. Right. Yeah, it's like being dropped from it's a like little bit higher. You have energy, but you're still tired. Yeah, yeah exactly. Like, well, and that's the thing is like, mornings are really hard. And then evenings, I just am a wreck. Right. Because I'm so burned out. Like, I can do it. And that's the frustrating part is, like, I can do it, but I fucking hate it. (laughs) And I'm like, I don't have an excuse not to do it because I can do it. But at the end of the day, I'm like, why did I do this? Now I want to die. And, oh, I completely gave up on getting back on ADHD meds at this point Mm -hmm. because I was on steroids and the pain was horrible. Yeah, prednisone's a fun one. Oh, fuck that. That was terrible. It's like, I don't know. It's like having acid in your veins. Oh. That's kind of what that feels like. Yeah. And then getting, like, randomly tased in places. Right? Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. I don't remember <laughs> it's that. It's great. I fucking hate it. And so I was like, you know what? I'm going to take the pain relief over the executive functioning because I'm in survival mode. Um, and you so have I'm to s- prioritize, right? Yeah. So I'm still taking double the gabapentin. Um it's not causing like brain fog or anything, right? I mean, it's hard to tell because I've just been so exhausted. Um, there have been a couple instances where I'm like, I forget what I'm doing mid task. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm like, I can't, I can't. I get that a lot. I had a few I, of those this week. Yeah. Where I'm like performing the task and I'm like, why the fuck am I standing here? What am I doing? <laughs> I did it on the computer when I'm editing. I'll be like, open program. And I'm like, why I did switch, I open I switch it? like to a different browser window and I'm like, 
why am I here? I was going to a new website, yeah. but which yeah. one? <laughs> it took yep. me two seconds to forget. Yeah. Exactly. In the time it took you to turn. Yep. Yeah. So that's been <clears throat> my week for the most part. Mm-hmm. It's just been rough. I've been really tired and everything hurts all the time. Um, I'm trying to remember if there was anything specific. I had to go get adjusted mm-hmm. on Thursday, Friday. Her spine was getting stretched. Yeah. So it's what happens cord. sometimes, there's a name for it and I can't remember what it's called. Dis just something. Just make up a new one. It's probably. always a dis. Um, but it's essentially that my dyspinia. tailbone. Dyspinia. Yeah. Dyspinia. My tailbone and my skull are playing tug of war with my spinal cord. Dyspinesia. <laughs> Dyspinesia. Oh, there it is. <laughs> Dyspinesia. Uh, yeah. So I've been running around with a headache for days. Is that like where your spine forgets what it's supposed to be doing? Or? <laughs> yes. <laughs> it just starts worming its way around. It's like, like, I don't know why I'm here. Anything with spinal cord sucks. Yeah. I've had a lot of experience with that. Well, and I had a chiropractor a while back tell me that it was rare and he'd only seen it a couple times. But I'm like, EDS, dude, <laughs> everything is possible and nothing makes sense ever. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. And then we have um, a, a new para who I absolutely adore. She's the best. Um, and it was funny throughout the week because she was like trying to get caught up on all of my nonsense (laughs) and so like just throughout the week sharing pieces of eds with someone and having them be like what the fuck (laughs) oh my god what the fuck like and that's all in just one week yeah and i'm like and this is only part of it yeah (laughs) it's seasonal too right winter's coming yeah i'm like i can tell you there's a storm coming a day ahead yeah and that sucks and then like dislocating things i dislocated my wrist opening a door of course it was such bullshit like i went to turn it and my wrist went right out the back and i was like why (laughs) but why (laughs) why? it was a doorknob it wasn't even like a heavy door it was like i literally just had to turn it yeah just bullshit so yeah and i haven't had like real time to check in with myself so i have no idea how i actually feel well you've been running ragged for like two weeks right we had to record on Sunday last week because yeah. you had stuff going on on Saturday. It was just, so you didn't get a rest. No, it was such a run. Because, yeah, last week, Saturday was urgent care. Yeah. And then getting steroid shot. Because <clears throat> my face swelled up like a balloon. Yeah. Which is why if I look cakey today, it's because all of my skin is extremely upset and super dried out from being stretched. Yeah. And I've been trying to, like, repair that all week. But I'm like, my eyelids are shutting and mm. I've got patches around my mouth and on my jaws and, like, everywhere from all the just swollen tissue. Yeah. yeah. So it's been a really long week. But also, I'm like, it was a blur. <laughs> I don't even know anymore. Yeah. While well, you were in it, though. Yeah. That was It was hell. It was a lot. And, yeah, I just came home and I was like, I can't, I can't move anymore. <laughs> Yeah, and half the time I was cooking, so I was like, I gotta go home, and just do it, and not take my shoes off, because then I will like, if I take my shoes off, it's over. It's the signal to relax. Yeah, Yeah. you can't let yourself relax until you're done. Exactly. Damn, that was my week. Mm -hmm. Super fun, not great, and then just that feeling of like, it's not fucking fair. Yeah, (laughs) it is so unfair, and it's unfair that I am so good at masking. I guess. Yeah, I know exactly what you're talking about, where yeah. you're going with it. Like, because you don't present and you don't bring attention to it. You right. feel like shit, but you don't look like you feel like shit. Right. Yeah. So people don't give you, like, that little bit extra that they would give you if they yeah. could see that you didn't feel well. Right. right. Which makes you the, the, like, weakest part of whatever chain you're in. Mm-hmm. Like, at work, I bet, I bet it's got to be that way. Yeah. Where they treat you, you know what I mean? Uh, so-so. Like, I get, I get a lot of leniency. Yeah. Which is really nice because I do need it, but I also get, you get like done. I get a lot of responsibility because I do get stuff right. done, and I'm like I'm very quick on my feet, and so when things change, that's my element, mm-hmm. and so this whole like the whole week, the nonsense that went on, <coughs> um, like that's my element. I was like, right. this is fine, it's fine, it sucks, but it's fine. Like I can, I can do this. Yeah, and so I'm like. It's not fair. I'm flexible and I am good at masking <laughs> and getting shit I'm, done. I look perfectly fine. It's not fair. <laughs> yeah. It sucks. I'm like, why do I have to be high functioning? And then I have to be high functioning because I am 
high functioning. Yeah. And so I don't get to be like, I don't get to drop off and be low functioning because <laughs> I've already set this precedent for being a high functioning person. Give it a try. Go to work. Just be a lazy piece of shit. <laughs> no, I can't yeah, really know something's wrong. <laughs> right. <laughs> like, wow. There have She's... been times. There was one year, one time, I think it was last year. I showed up to the building and I just like burst into tears because I was so tired. And she was like, go home. And I was like, but I have to do work. Just go home. But I, I have massive like work guilt. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So I'm like, I have a responsibility to these kids and to other people in the building. And I need to fulfill that and not let people down. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It sucks, but it's it's life. Oh, I was morbid with the wrong person this week. Oh, that was really funny. I just, I don't know. Not everyone understands the morbid humor. And so she was like, do you have coffee like every day? And I was like, yeah, it's not like I'm addicted to coffee. I just really needed an, like an incentive for being alive. And she just looked at me and was like, that's horrible. <laughs> I was like, but it's, it's true. Oh, you just look at her, you sweet child. Sorry. You've not experienced life. Yeah. I was like, no, I just really need like, you got up today and you didn't kill yourself. You get a coffee, yay! Jen does that with me now. Get a sticker. If I if I'm good. <laughs> and a kiss on the <laughs> forehead. Get rewards. I get rewards for being a good boy. Cute. I, I get coffee if I if I've been good about my self talk, <laughs> which How I is have your been. Yeah. I was talking to somebody in in uh, Discord about it. Yeah. Uh, I don't remember who, because I can't think. Was it Crystal? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was Crystal talking about. Um, <clears throat> No, I don't even know where I'm at. I was too busy thinking about that. <laughs> Self-talk. Self-talk. That's the one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Talking about how I have to catch myself right away when I do it. If, I, if oh, I'm if i bad, yeah. I'm like, you stupid piece of shit. And I'm like, I shouldn't say that. I am not a stupid piece of shit. So you have to like undo. And I have to verbalize it because if I don't say it out loud, it doesn't stick. That's interesting because for me, like my self-talk is more like, like we, we know it's like playfully <laughs> one second. abusive. So we know that like my self talk is more playfully abusive. Yeah. And when I'm mean to myself, usually it's like, that wasn't very nice. I didn't really deserve that. And then I move on with my life. Yeah, no, so I, I scold myself. I don't have to like go back and undo it. Yeah. So usually it's like, take your meds, dumbass. That's bad self talk. But it's it doesn't hurt my feelings, so it's okay. <laughs> it's not that. It's your subconsciously <laughs> you have to adjust the behaviors. Not a dumbass. I don't believe me. I know I'm not a dumbass, but like, you just gotta be careful. It's time what you to say. do it, dum dum. Hey, like, I don't. Know. You I don't talk know. shit about my sister, I'll beat your ass. <laughs> but it's lovingly. I don't give a fuck how <laughs> loving it is. You talk shit, I will drop you. I will body you. <laughs> He'll do it too. For yes, he need me in the face on my own birthday. On her birthday. <laughs> this is a, a true story. <laughs> That's probably the only time I'll have ever wanted that story to be like relevant. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. I'll never still bring it up again. <laughs> like, we retire right now. <laughs> I do though. I, I feel so guilty about it. <laughs> as long as things just I think it's in. funny. <laughs> <laughs> as long as you think it's funny, it's okay. Like, cause I'll See, find... why is that okay? <laughs> My self talk is hilarious. Yours self -talk. isn't okay. It's fine. Yours is bad. Yeah. <laughs> your your talk is Fix different. It. <laughs> I don't have to be nice to myself. I just have to respect myself. There's a difference. You can't you can't respect yourself until you respect others. Because you can't love yourself around. unless you love others. No, it's bad. no you, it's bad. you have yourself. it backwards. No, I have to love, love other people because I can't love myself. <laughs> well, that's why I like teach empathy starting with animals. You teach animals empathy? No, I teach human <laughs> children empathy. Can you teach my cat? <laughs> no, they're oh. demons. <laughs> They do Damn. what they want. <laughs> that would have been nice. You could have gone in and give Ed some lessons. No. Little Princess Ed. <laughs> no. <laughs> Cats are gods. They just. They know they, it. They just exist. Yeah. And we have to tolerate how they exist. Fair. Those are the choices. But yeah, that's what we were talking about was self-talk. That's interesting. And that's how I do it. And I have to do it at the moment because if I, if I do it later, it doesn't count. Like if I retroactively was like, oh, yeah, no, I shouldn't have said that. It's not the same as me going, oh, I didn't mean to say that. Stupid. See, but you sound like yeah, I can you're be... like insincere with yourself. <laughs> no, I'm ca it's conceding to like being a good boy. Oh. <laughs> you know, it's like, oh, oh fine. The surrender. I'll to be not good. not being mean to yourself. Yeah. 
It's true. That's how I function. <laughs> if I catch myself with like bad self talk, I'll just be like, I'm not supposed to say that, but then I don't <laughs> believe <laughs> myself. I'm just like, I'm not supposed to, but, but I need to because I deserve. But it. I'm not gonna lie to myself. <laughs> <laughs> At least you're honest. Am I? <laughs> <laughs> don't just don't lie to yourself. You're good. Even if you're mean. <laughs> Jesus. I just don't know what's real anymore. <laughs> Fair. <laughs> That's our like constant. Mm-hmm. The imposter syndrome for the win. Yeah. Yeah. All right. <clears throat> you want to move on to the subject? Sure. Like actual proper? Sure. Because it ties into your week more. Yeah. So kind of, I don't know, Morgan and I were talking about she was feeling stuck. And it's interesting because she, unlike us, has like a friend group, right, of typical people. And so in her friend group, she experiences this like like hot jealousy for their ease in existing in their bodies. That was me at game night. I used to have that same problem. Yeah. I, I don't know. I get it if I have to go, like, mask somewhere. Right. Like, I do it anyway, but, like, if I'm forced to mask or if I feel like I'm forced to mask, I get really pissed. <laughs> like, I really don't like that. I'm like, no, I don't want to do that. That takes energy that I don't have. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, I don't know, because it's interesting. I don't think I've experienced jealousy, per se, but there is that aspect of, like, it isn't fair and the world's not built for people who are not typical right it's not built for people who are atypical or um and and that is true and fair for mental and emotional as well as physical yeah um because it's a struggle and it's much more of a struggle (laughs) than typical people have i don't but i don't know i don't know that i believe typical people exist i was gonna say so just the more you learn about everybody in right. as a whole there's always something it's just so interesting how we've been separated by our suffering and from our like from processing it as a society right where i think we could make a lot of progress if everyone was like hey i'm suffering and everyone else was like hey us too i mean that's how you end up with friend groups right really like um they were saying in discord mm-hmm. or how morgan was saying that like neuro neuro not typicals neuro adjacent people yeah <laughs> click with other neuro adjacent people yeah that's why kaylee and i get along we have, we're like, broken in the same way <laughs> yeah <laughs> yes but it's interesting because like we have never i don't know like we have a friend group but yeah like we're careful about our friend group i guess it's distilled yeah like there's a lot of like sifting that goes on yeah i don't know how old morgan is but i think she's younger yeah. and you guys have had more time to do that right. distillation of your friends exactly yeah. that's fair yeah because yeah it was like i don't know not even like actively cutting people out just like not who sticks around again. yeah yeah and who's got an interest in what's going on and... but i don't know because we have a different i guess support group system like we're You and I, for sure, are, like, more family-based when it comes to the support system piece. Yeah. And it also depends on, like, what support you need. Because different people are going to be helpful for different things. Well, that's why we're building the community. Yeah. Like, it's starting to be to the point where you can go into Discord and actually discuss stuff. Right. And bitch about your body or see what else other people have going on. Yeah. I actually want to see what Morgan said because she worded it very interestingly. Mm -hmm. Um. (laughs) And I want to make sure that I no am dying. interpreting what she's saying okay. correctly. Try. I'm sick. I don't know what you want. <laughs> Stop it. I'll take all your sick. Where was it? Was it in venting? It wasn't in venting. Maybe it was Episode in general. Discussion. Are you sure? Topic suggestions. Topic suggestions. Oh, maybe. Kaylee knows. Are you a mod? It's under suggestion box. Aha, there we go. Okay. It's genetic. (laughs) I couldn't find it either. I know. I was like, wait a second. Wait a second. What? Okay. So she said she was um, living a frustrating moment right now because there's, she, she has too many damn fit friends. (laughs) So she's kind of joking, but also not really. Um, It's very hard for her to get super, oh, not to get super frustrated um, 
when she feels like she has to put in more effort to achieve milestones than other people do. Yeah. Um, both physically, but also mentally having to deal with the avoidance of things that she doesn't trust her body to do. And I get that. There's that like aspect of, eh, am I capable of that? <laughs> like I could do it, but should could I be doing I, yeah. that? Yeah. Is it going to end well? Right. Yeah. Um, and she says that she can be super proud of her progress, but she still gets pangs of frustration and jealousy when she sees other people who have a much easier time um, than she does and are like better at that activity faster. Right. They progress quicker yeah. because they have less to deal with. Right. Um, and then she says, I feel the way we can and can't compare ourselves to each other and how to avoid being discouraged or salty when faced with what or I'm sorry, with when faced with that might be an interesting topic. Um which is just fair and it worked out great because that's kind of where I am. Not necessarily in like the jealousy aspect, but I mean, there's some of that with Randy. Yeah. Cause he has, I don't know. He just has unlimited spoons. Well, I've talked to, I've talked about times I've gotten mad at Jen from just being jealous. Like look at her being normal. Right. Look at you doing things and taking it for granted. Jesus. Right. You <laughs> privileged girl. You what with your health. How dare you be healthy? Are you flaunting your health at me? <laughs> Get out of here with that. Shoo shoo. Yeah. Be gone. Be gone. <laughs> I will not have that around me. Take your health elsewhere. <laughs> it's your toxic health. <laughs> Get your toxic health out of here. I'm sick of it. You're always Take coming your, in. Your and toxic being fitness. healthy. <laughs> be gone. <laughs> Just imagine someone walking in while we're doing that bit. Like if she walked in, we're like, Be get gone. out of here. <laughs> you healthy bitch. If she walks in later, you should. <laughs> do it for sure. You healthy asshole. You fucker. How dare you. <laughs> <laughs> yes. yes. When I've had that too, um, when we were doing game night all the time, like just the fact that other people were normal and could do things and I had to like dip out early. Yeah. And then I stopped going because I was dying. And then yeah. everybody else stopped going because everybody just wanted to hang out with you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but I couldn't handle all of that at once. I can't. I yeah. couldn't. Because it got to the point where I couldn't mask anymore. It was getting so intense. Right. But I was like, I'm going to be an asshole the whole time. I'm mm -hmm. just going to excuse myself. This was before you had any idea what was going on. Yeah. yeah. So I was uber depressed, too, about the fact that I was perfectly healthy. <laughs> According but you to doctor, handle yeah. it. Yeah. Perfectly yeah. healthy. Yeah. Yeah. That's so frustrating. And it is. It's really frustrating to be like, why can't I do that? <laughs> like, I could do that, but I can't do that. I don't know. Because I feel like there's an aspect of feeling limited by the body mm -hmm. or like limited by what's going on with you. Um, but I don't know, because I don't. I haven't thought about it a lot aside from just it, it It does. It comes back to that like aspect of it's not fair. It's not fair that I have to put in this much work and yeah. it's not fair that no one can see the amount of work I'm putting in. Because yeah. I think I would feel better if someone understood like how much it costs me to do what I do. Right. If you just had like little gauges like on yeah. the Sims that just like hovered over you and it's like, oh, my energy is going down. Yeah. Right. Very quickly. Yeah. All she did was read a book and then set it on fire. <laughs> and then she set herself on fire. And then she couldn't get out of the room because there was a plate on the floor. <laughs> I hate when that happens. <laughs> That's actually happened to me before. <laughs> Jen put a bunch of dishes in front of the door and I was like, if I try and step over that, I'm going to break the plates and myself. So I'm just going to lay back Excuse down. Excuse me. Why were there dishes on the floor? She makes piles of things and she was going to clean it up, but then she had to leave. So she left the pile where, where it was. <laughs> so I was like, fuck How it. How very sim like. It was. It was like, <laughs> got well, distracted. At least the task. couch wasn't on fire. That's how yeah. I know we're in a simulation right now. <laughs> <laughs> I am a sim. I'm a sim. My life is a typo. I could be a sim. Let me sim. What Who are you going to sim for? Uh, I don't know. It was God Omound like two weeks ago. Yeah. I, could, I, could, I could simp. I could simp with the best of them. <laughs> Just watch me. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta find somebody. You but don't have enough money to simp that way. <sighs> Emotional you need, you devotion. Need more money. <laughs> need more money. Money. Fine. I'm too poor to simp. <laughs> too poor to simp. You just have to be extra dedicated. Like, that's what I'm saying. Like if I try <laughs> really can hard. Compensate. <laughs> if I just give it my all, can I please just simp this one time? <laughs> it is your all enough. 
I don't know if oh, I can give it sad. all. <laughs> Staying on subject. <laughs> I want people to see how enough. much energy it takes me to try my hardest <laughs> to, to simp. simp. <laughs> little energy bar. <laughs> simp energy bar. Yeah, my simp goes up a tiny bit and all my energy <laughs> drops. <laughs> Oh, well, he tried. <laughs> That's cute. <laughs> and he then gained I died. like one heart from the other one. Great. Oh my god! <laughs> I'm so glad Katie's here. <laughs> it's just nonsense now. It's great. Yeah, but I don't know. So I'm curious, Kaylee, if you have experienced that on like the mental health side. Um, definitely with like energy. I'll have like friends invite me to do stuff and it's like I just don't want to leave my house <laughs> like I like you as a person and I want to be friends with you and I appreciate that you keep inviting me to do things but I just don't want to drive over there and do things yeah <clears throat> yeah yeah I think that's the part that keeps me away from the jealousy is like I don't want to do stuff <laughs> <laughs> it's like I want to but also right. I don't I don't want to. Yeah. Right. Like, even when I go out, I'm like, I'm going to dip out early, but I want to dip out early. <laughs> I'm not, like, forced to right. dip out early. But, yeah. It's interesting. And it's interesting because Morgan is very active already. Yeah. She she posted that awesome Yeah, job. that was so cool. That was cool. I can't do that shit. That's I couldn't awesome. even, like, get two feet off the ground <laughs> if I tried to rock climb. <laughs> Bouldering is so cool. Yeah. Congratulations, Morgan. Yeah. That was really cool. That was awesome. But yeah, no, I don't know. It's um What if I get jealous of Morgan for being able to do that? <laughs> <laughs> How the tables flips have Your turned. Jealousy meters going How up. the turn <laughs> tables have, have flipped. flipped. Yes. Now how do you feel, Morgan? <laughs> I'm jealous. I don't know. I have that like internet jealousy where i'm like oh that's really cool i wish i had like trained my body to do those things right but you're not like i like taking it out on people you're right not, you're not like, actively it's not pursuing like, um, it i don't know it's it not driving you nuts right it doesn't like cut me it's I like guess. oh man i wish i could do that yeah but it doesn't feel personal i mean we still we, can we're, we're, we can still do it right i want to go bouldering we should take me it'll be fun we should all go yes it'll be a mental health day it's very fun. What'd you do today? Climbed fake rocks. <laughs> but why? For why not? fun and me time. Yeah, because <laughs> I can. Self-care. Is climbing rocks self-care? Yeah. Yeah, okay. it can be. It is now. <laughs> I mean, exercising counts, right? Yeah. Yeah. Which I haven't done in like two weeks, Yeah, I should by do the way. more of that. <laughs> I haven't since I got sick. I haven't since you got sick. I haven't <laughs> since the <laughs> air sorry. quality got bad. Two, two weeks ago? <laughs> oh, yeah, the air quality for... is gross. Oh, yeah. That's been yeah. really yucky. And the pressure changes. Ooh. Yeah, Ooh. those are... There was a really brutal one that I watched happen the other day. Oh, really? Where it, it dropped. So, like, the the bur little barometer went crazy yeah. fast up. And I was like, ow! Yeah. Like, Why, I God? Feel, even right now, I Did can feel it Did you feel it as you watched it? In my ears. Mm. It was like... <laughs> right? It's like the pressure inside your body changes. It's yeah. horrible. I'm like, why are we so sensitive to that? That bothers me. I wonder if that's common. It seems it to is, be. Yeah. Yes. It seems to be. Like, we're super sensitive to the weather. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. We're just like, special. I get, I get headaches. I don't want to be special. With the weather, but, yeah. like, I'm not, I'm not that aware of it. No, we can usually tell. We're like, something is coming yeah. and it's horrible. She'll message me and I'm like, oh, got to check to see because I'm feeling shitty too. Yep. Yeah. It's great fun. Do you want to do cameras real quick? Sure. <laughs> should we, should we go on break? We can go on break. That sounds good. So we're not going to do cameras. We're going to go on break. Okay. So what do you need to do? You should know by now. Me. Taxes. Taking oh, the kids. I still need to file my Love taxes. My kids. Oh, no. <laughs> Quickly, the while there's still forgiveness. Gonna come for me. <laughs> You're going to get audited. <laughs> I don't think I make enough money for them to care about auditing What is that me? movie where she gets audited and she just like full on refuses to pay it back and they wind up falling in love? With the IRS Stranger guy. than fiction. Yeah. Is that what it yeah. is? With Will Farrell. She's a baker. Oh, and that's he's a right. I forgot guy, those yeah. two stories were the same one. And I was just thinking he like her, her story. Flowers. And I couldn't remember <laughs> I they remember were together. That. Yeah. Oh, that's a good movie. I haven't seen that in a while. You know, this, this is a very good movie. movie. Timer. It's so good. If you haven't seen it, we need to watch it. What's it on? It's not streaming right now. Oh. Uh, 
I'll rent Who's it. Who's it? Who, who's in I it? I have it on DVD. It's oh, yeah. French, the DVD, but it's it has French. English. Ooh. <laughs> We were gonna go on break. Yeah, we can't even gonna... focus enough to to leave you guys properly. Anyway. Jesus, <laughs> <laughs> it's because you were like taxes, and I was like, no. Yeah, we need to do self care. <laughs> My bad. Yeah, do your self care. Drink water. Take a nap. Eat food. Have some food. Just take have your a meds. whole nap. Yeah, take your nap. Take and, a whole and, ass nap. And You've go find it. some sunlight. Take mm, a nap in go, the sun. Go, find go it. outside and feel the sun on your face. Listen to the birds. Take a deep breath. Get annoyed. Remember that your neighbors are annoying. <laughs> Don't get annoyed. Don't get annoyed. Remember Skip all the bad step. things. Take no. a deep breath. <laughs> Breathe it all in. No, this is wrong. <laughs> I'm really bad at self-care. <laughs> Just skip those last That's steps. That's part two okay. of this podcast, actually. It's our self-care, right? Our yeah. coping skills. <laughs> yeah. Great. Here we go. All right. Have fun. <laughs> Welcome back. <laughs> How was your break? Mine? Fantastic. Lovely. We got coffee. Mm-hmm. More coffee. Because we needed more coffee. Yes. Always more coffee. Yeah. We finished all the other Never coffee. Not enough I've coffee. almost finished my coffee. Do we need to go back to no, Starbucks? No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not looking to die today. It's your turn to buy this time. Okay. <laughs> I'll, I'll buy the idiot coffee. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so stupid I can't even afford coffee. <laughs> he was being dumb. He thought he didn't he wasn't gonna get coffee. I was being presumptuous. He was like, and rude. I have no money and no car. I said, and I was so like, I will get idiot. no coffee. Yeah. And I was like, You're an idiot and I left it at that and now it's now you're I'm an, an idiot, idiot who can't, can't afford, afford coffee. coffee. <laughs> <laughs> who can't afford coffee? This guy. <laughs> this idiot. God. <laughs> I love this podcast. It's no, great. Stupid. It's on dippets. Yeah, stupid. It's on dippets. <laughs> okay. Now that now that we're back for good. <laughs> back for good. We're back for good. We're never leaving. This we're, is we're back like the movie. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> I don't like the animation. It makes me upset. Oh, that was great. Like Fern Gully. I don't like Fern Gully. I don't know why. There's Excuse something wrong you. with the animation. I that feel I like hate. there's something more attached to it because it's not like that uncanny. I don't, know. I don't know. There's something about it that I just really don't like. Yeah. Or I'm seeing the wrong one. There's, there's like emotional baggage. There has to be. Probably. It's attached to like the little toaster or whatever. The Brave oh, Little man. Toaster. Mm-hmm. That movie, I have the same feelings for. Yeah. I think I that's why it's it, all that. It was that generation of animation. Yeah, I used to. There was kid. things though. And Felix the Cat. I love Felix the fucking cat. We need to watch it and do shots. When's the last time you watched The Secret of Nim? A long time, long, long maybe time. like five years. I watched it like a couple months ago. Yeah. I've seen I've seen like the part two more times than I've seen the first one. There was a part two. There was, and it yeah, was I didn't weird. Know about that. It was like return to Nim or something. I don't know, or escape How do from you Nim. I don't know. Return to Nim when that stands for National <laughs> or Institute of Mental Health or whatever. Do they go back to the institute? Yeah, and then they turn one of the rats into like a super rat, and then he's like, they were evil already villain. super <laughs> rats. <laughs> Mega that rat. was the like, whole plot. He's got all the brain, and then he takes over the whole lab. Is this the oh, precursor like, to yeah. the Great Mouse Detective? <gasps> oh my god, that rat started again. my life. Oh rat again! Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> I just remember the bat not it being did. able to I do can hear shit. It in my head. It did. <clears throat> Jesus, that was a memory. <laughs> I, started, that was early I started to watch that a couple they, weeks like, ago too, but I strap him to the machine. Yeah. 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 What was that movie you had me edit the creepy part from? <laughs> what? <laughs> Once upon a forest. <laughs> I don't know that one. She's like, I need a sound bite. And I was like, cool, I'll do it. <laughs> Now I have to send this to Vizzy. I haven't done it yet because I'm wait- waiting for Vizzy to forget. So I have to send it before you edit and release this episode. Yeah. So I'll have to do it this week. I'll put it in. <laughs> Everyone be quiet. I'll just sing it. Hear- I'll sing it for okay, you. Okay, okay. It's even better. Please wake up. Please wake up. It's really good. That was amazing. That's what I sent Vizzy at 6 a.m. Oh my God. The morning after we watched that movie. Yeah, I had to listen to that on loop for a good, like, 10 minutes as I was editing and making it perfect and saving it. I was saving it. So I'll do that this week. Cool. 
<laughs> it's so creepy. <laughs> Great. <laughs> yeah, I watched that one on the same night I watched um, The Secret of Men. Hmm. Is that how you cope? No. Just see what nostalgia I did there? bombing. <laughs> Let's see, I brought it back around. <laughs> Coping skills. Do we have them? <laughs> Do we know of one? More at 10. <laughs> Later. Do you need them? Probably. Doctors hate these 10 <laughs> tips to not being anxious. <laughs> One, stop being anxious. <laughs> Two, just be happy. Have you tried being happy? <laughs> Three, eat food stuffs. Breathe. Not real food. <laughs> breathing is a Breathe, good one. Breathing. Right? Breathing. Yeah. Yeah. Like... Doctors hate it when you breathe. Oh, boy. My doctor found out, and I got reamed. <laughs> they kicked me out of pain management for breathing. <laughs> <laughs> she was doing too much breath. <laughs> they caught me. They cut her they were like, um, my your oxygen blood, levels your, your are too high. <laughs> is at 100. You need to, like, chill out. Yeah, this is not. We're not <laughs> your about Your pulse that. ox, too high. We're not going to be able to work with you anymore. That's so sad. I'm sorry that happened to you. Yeah. Why, like? A bowl of cereal. <laughs> you dead. traitor. It died. It's dead. It's your turn. It, it's dead. The other one's not going like, to come back <laughs> okay. anytime soon. They, Bye, they're light. weird. Great. I love it. Better, right? For me, yeah. <laughs> you just have that one and that one on you. Ugh. Really? Yeah. I don't know what part of my soul was crying out, but it needed to it happen. Was, uh, please, <laughs> please wake up. <laughs> We're gonna have to cut this little bit out, huh? No. <laughs> We're leaving it in. <laughs> coping skills. Coping skills. So let's give some context for coping skills. Kaylee, tell me your story. <laughs> well, I don't remember what my story was. It what was, did I tell you my story was? <laughs> You're like, what, 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 what's my line? <laughs> Give me a hint. <laughs> your therapist said you needed to do mindfulness. <laughs> right. Okay. <laughs> um, but didn't teach you mindfulness, yeah? No, we have, we went over it. Um, okay. So we were talking about how I'll have things happen. I'll just be having like a really bad day and I'll forget everything mm -hmm. that i know about coping skills and i'll have to like my number one coping skill is to reach out to like one of my friends i have like two or three friends that i reach out to and they'll be like well have you tried breathing <laughs> and the funny thing is is usually i'm like holding my breath and i'm like just like not breathing and it's like no i haven't tried breathing thanks i'll start there and then it has like a cascading effect that mm. once I start breathing, I can start remembering my other coping skills. So that mm. was kind of the context that so I was talking about with my therapist. Figuring out how to interrupt that like yeah. spiral. Yeah. So it's the catastrophizing. What's it called? I need to look something up. Okay. In the meantime, like hold music. You've had experience with like being taught mindfulness. Mm hmm. Whereas I learned it kind of on the fly while I was teaching it. going to say, well, and we already had a lot of the skills. Yeah. Like when I went to that first pain meeting yeah. and they were like, these are all the things. And I had to take those classes and they were like, you already know all the things. Right. It was built into to me by the time I really got to it. They, they did more uh, like physical stuff mm. to help ground you kind of like the holding ice things. Oh, yeah. Like, you know, hold ice for as long as you can without... But then it turns into a contest. I'm like, I I could do this forever. It's going to melt. I'm going to do this until it it's gone. It distracts you, though. Right. <clears throat> they get sucked into it. Yeah. Okay. So we, what I was talking about with my therapist is this thing. It's the polyvagal chart. Maybe put it on the screen. Okay. It's this. I'll it's send it to you. here. I'm putting it over there. <laughs> I don't know. Right here. Okay. Or up this above. is the polyvagal. This 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 is the polyvagal <laughs> chart. It's We're just gonna move it. It's gonna just bounce um, around. But it's just like a curve that mm -hmm. like goes through what's like normal, um, and then like hype hyper hyper arousal. I think mm -hmm. or is it hypo arousal first? One of the it's one or the other. But like first it goes through like fight or flight and then freeze, and then it's like basically like anxiety and depression and just like your survival instincts kicking in yeah so it's like you go through the different stages and i what we were talking about is that i don't catch myself like going into the hyper and hyper arousal mm -hmm. and i am like not breathing i get tense and i don't i stop thinking so i don't access my coping skills right 
I don't know where I was going with that. No, I mean, it makes sense. <laughs> like, good. And that's the thing, like, it, when it comes to anxiety, that's really where it is, right? Is that, like, fight, flight, freeze response. Yeah. That your body's like, you are in imminent danger because your brain is, like, you can't determine what is a danger and what is not anymore. Yeah. I've learned how to notice when that's happening. Mm-hmm. That was like the biggest thing, especially with um, mania. Yeah. Like when I could feel myself getting manic, it's the same anxious feeling. It starts mm-hmm. like boiling up within. I think that's got to be like the hyper arousal, right? Yeah. Like everything in you and you're yeah, like so hyper been, focusing on your sensation. And I've been able to, to notice when it's going on and calm myself down beforehand. Yeah. That took a while though. And a lot of medication. <laughs> yeah. Well, and you guys have panic attacks, which I don't have to deal with. So truth i can only relate to a certain level because well you can imagine what it's like (laughs) well and i I mean i've had panic attacks in the past yeah so i get that have you ever had it where like you can feel your body starting to panic but your brain isn't there yep that was and then that one day your brain starts to panic because your body is panicking so you're panicking about panicking yeah Yeah. that happened to me at micro center when i went last with jen i had to go to the car and sit and stop myself from freaking out it was like i'm starting to panic she's like why i was like i, I don't, don't know, know. <laughs> just them yeah see i go through that but it's usually like yeah the body will do it and the brain is not like on board mm-hmm. so my body's freaking out and i'm like excuse me what and then it's like screaming danger danger and i'm like but where why why are we doing this yeah. but i'm not in danger i'm sitting in my basement right. <laughs> nothing well, like, is happening mm-hmm. i don't get the brain part because the brain is like but why right so i have that like complete separation where the body's like panic and then the brain's like there's nothing wrong stop it right what are, what are we doing your body's like why aren't you panicking <laughs> right panic well, with th- me i'm usually, lonely like when the body gets panicky and the brain doesn't i have to like i have to put the body to work to get out of it sounds like slavery i have but like you know what i mean like i have right. to give the muscles that are like tensing a different task yeah. Or I have to go through the motions of a task yeah. so that I can let the body know that, like, nothing is imminently wrong. I have a thing that I do when I can feel, like, my body starting to panic. I just lay on the floor, like, next to a wall with, like, my butt up against the wall. And I put mm-hmm. my feet up the wall so that they're, like, You elevated. get some more blood. And um, it's like a yoga pose. And I don't remember the science behind it, but it's, like, proven to help your body, like, calm down. Mm-hmm. I do that in my bed all the time. Yeah. And when I, I was having like that. panic I'll do it attacks, in the couch. Yeah, when I was having couch. panic attacks like every morning, I had to sleep like that. <laughs> wow. That's intense. I do that in the bathtub too. Like I put my feet up on the wall yeah. and get the blood flow in. I mean, I use it differently too because of the like vasovagal syncope. Yep. Um, so I use the legs in the air to like <laughs> push blood flow to the important parts. Um, yeah, no, it's interesting because that, that was a big part when they were trying to figure out the spasming mm-hmm. was because I was told for a long time that it was panic attacks and then it was migraines and then it was seizures and then it was migraines again. And then da, yeah. da, 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 and I was like, am I crazy? Like, what is going on? Because I could explain it and be like, it's like my body is freaking out and I am just not aware of what the hell is going on. And they were like, well, but is it a panic attack? I'm like, no, I can completely ground and the body will still be doing what it's doing. I just have to wait it out. Yeah. Fuck. Mm. Have you been able to do like a body scan when you do that to just like think through the parts of your body and like find the tension and like for me, like pull the tension out mentally? Yes and no. Cause like there are certain exercises I can't do like right. mindfulness exercises. Like, you know, like tense and release can't do it. Cause if I tense and release, I just look okay. So I have to like maintain a certain level of tension at all times yeah. <clears throat> right. because relaxing hurts. <clears throat> so like relaxing is like my last step of the day. <laughs> right. Like if I'm relaxing, it's over. Yep. So I have to be in this like constant, I don't know. Everything's constantly flexed until I'm done with the day. So I can't go through and be like pull tension out of things. Because and I'm not a big done. one. Yeah. And I'm not a big one for like jaw clenching or anything like that. Usually, like, I carry a lot of tension in my chest and in my belly. <clears throat> and I think the belly breathing kind of helps to loosen that up a little bit. Where do you carry tension? Back. I was just thinking about it. It's the middle of my back. I get mm. it all, like, in my neck and my chest. Ooh. 
Ooh. I'll get the next stuff sometimes too. And then I get one that it like, I don't know, it runs through. So it's like through this breast and into the shoulder blade. But I think it's like, it's a muscle that's pulling, pulling. a rib out. So that one will happen sometimes. Well, you know, when there's that rib on the, my right side, that's always loose. Every time you try and pop my back, you can feel it. Yeah. That's where everything, where all the tension lives mm, is in that one spot. it just spot. pulls on it. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And the angrier it gets, the worse everything else around it gets. Because it's yeah. going to just, it gets bigger and bigger. It pulls in more. Right. Well, and that's the thing is like, not only do you have a mental cascade that happens, you have a body cascade that happens. Yeah. Where one thing wrong in the body can throw everything off and... We learn how to like compensate for that, but we compensate by doing things wrong, <laughs> which makes things in other places <laughs> exactly. go wrong. Yep. So it's like checks and balance back and forth. And then like I've tried to be more mindful about taking in protein and being more active to help rebuild the muscles that are trying to do all of this job. Um, but it's hard because I'm not kind to the body. <laughs> no. And I know I'm not kind to the body, and I'm aware of the consequences of not being kind to the body. I mean, all you have to do is say, I named my, my body Karen, <laughs> and people will get it. Right, exactly. It's hard like, to want to be kind asshole. to your body when your body's not kind to exactly. you. Exactly. Yeah. It is an abusive asshole. It's so mean. And there are times, like, I'm alone. It'll do something, and I'm like, that was cruel. <laughs> like, it is inflicting cruelty on me. That's uh, I, how I feel about the body. I complain about it all the time. Yeah. I'm like, why why would you do that? That's that's mean. Can we not right now? Please. I don't have the energy. Yeah. We're not doing this. Oh, we're doing this. Well, and I get this one that like I don't know, this like major muscle here. Yeah. Where it'll pull on it until it rotates and mm. it just hurts like hell. Oh, I hate it. And that's the one where I'm like, That was mean. Why did we do that? That was mean. Stop it. You went too far. You went too far. It's you not it funny anymore, Karen. <laughs> yeah. Fucking Karen. But I mean, what are your favorite grounding techniques? Um, <clears throat> well, body scan <clears throat> is one of them. Um, now that I'm on the spot, I can't think of anything. <laughs> See, I don't like body scan because then I reveal all the things that hurt. Right. To that's, myself. A, that's the problem for us. Is that you, yeah. Then you're noting all the pain again. Right. I have to maintain a certain disconnect. I always do the countdown. The which one? The senses one. You go through like five. Oh, yeah. And then I added in the over the last year yeah. like thoughtful yeah it's like uh two things you're grateful for yeah and then one thing that you like about yourself right or you can appreciate about yourself so it's like five things you can see four things you could touch smell yeah it doesn't matter it's yeah one of the ones whatever, that you can whatever. actually do that's yeah. not tasting right <laughs> or sniffing i just remembered yeah. we made i made a list with my therapist and she emailed it to me and i oh, have nice. that email up because hey. that's where i got the chart there you sweet go. Um, breathing is like the number one yeah like yeah. where I start that's always where I start to like um, I do square breathing where like you like picture a square oh and you go up yeah and then so over, like you breathe and in and, and, and you can either like breathe out or hold it while you like trace over mm -hmm. and then breathe out hold it breathe in there's like that's kind of like the finger breathing where you go yeah. up and then down and then up and mm -hmm. then down and then up and then down another one that's like really good because it kind of resets your nervous system is to like breathe in for like three or four seconds and then exhale completely like yeah. get as much out as you can that's the one that i use i actually use like the sigh i, I was gonna say i sigh do the <sighs> yeah where you let out in. more than you take in yes. yeah that one's really helpful for me because that helps my diaphragm kind of release tension because i carry a shitload yeah. in my diaphragm yeah. that's where all of my like hold it together tension is yeah that one helps your body physically <laughs> yeah i just realized that that makes me the helpless turtle because when i relax i have to do it from the back right because mm -hmm. otherwise everything kind of comes out here and it, yeah because it's tight so <laughs> it's like the helpless turtle yeah my, my arms and legs are flailing <laughs> as everything gets tight in my back yep well yeah because you go this way yeah well and with like i don't know with the spasms it's different too because if i'm not careful i can trigger them oof um Sorry, I just talked about it, and now I can feel like the tension <laughs> building right it. there. I'm like, don't do it, don't, don't do it. Um, they seem to have been like better-ish, but I don't know if that's just because I've been running myself completely ragged <laughs> and that I haven't like noticed. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's hard because certain things, and with dysautonomia, it's so hard to know like what's going to trigger your immune system the wrong way. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that one sucks, but yeah, no, I think breathing is like my big one. Is like. Taking in that sigh and then 
trying to do measured breaths, but if I do the measured breaths too far, I'll trigger the nervous system and yeah. it'll get mad at me. Yeah, it's hard. It's hard to know like what is going to work for you until you've tried like a whole plethora of things. Yeah, I'm trying to think of the other ones that they try to teach us. I didn't pick them up because they didn't really work for me. Yeah. <laughs> that's the problem. Well, that's the thing is like, yeah, not all of them work for you. And I feel like that's not something that people are told a lot when they're learning mindfulness. They're just like given these skills and they're supposed to work or yeah. they think they're supposed to work. And then when and they no don't. one's told that like, hey, yeah. some of these things are not going to be for you and some of them might be. So try everything and then select your pick. That's it's like that with meditation. It's like they yeah. looked at people, they told them to like meditate and people who basically weren't good at it from the get go, it yeah. caused them more, more anxiety. anxiety. Yeah, because you're not doing it right. <clears throat> yeah. But like, I mean, meditation is something that you have to practice. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So like, if you don't get through that anxiety, that initial anxiety, you're never going to get good at it. And right. then it's never going to work for you. I try to do the ones where it's like a guided meditation on YouTube or something. And then I lay down with my headphones on and the lights off. Yeah. And then I go through the meditation that way because it's easier for me. I don't know. Because, again, it's like that disconnect from the body, I guess. Right. So the body has to be in a neutral position where I'm not like actively feeling something or another. Right. I have a yoga nidra um, video that I found like six years ago that I've listened to almost every night to fall asleep there you go then. it works do like we tried vr meditation really yeah that's interesting at, at the clinic it was, it was cool it was fancy but it, it wasn't like <laughs> i'm curious about that you were supposed to like they put you in the middle of like a like an alpine area so it was like yeah. you're in a meadow oh, and you're surrounded nice. by trees and everything you get all like the surround sound. Yeah, that it was reminds so cool. me of another coping skill, which oh, is yeah. like safe, calm space. Mm. Yeah. Um, it's we talked about this last time with the EMDR, like laying the groundwork before yeah. the EMDR therapy. Having it's your like, retreat, you find that safe, calm space. Like you stop and think about like where in my life have I felt like at peace? Have mm -hmm. I felt calm? Or if you can't think of something, like you can build a place in your mind. Right. Mm -hmm. And then you, what we did is like, we did like a little bit of the EMDR, like tapping to yeah. like establish that as like a good spot. And like, it's like basically training your brain, yeah. like yeah. bind good feelings to that image. Mm -hmm. So that like when you're in that state of hyper or hypo arousal, you can stop, close your eyes, picture yourself in that safe, calm space that you've created. Mm hmm and your body will catch on like i am safe like i don't need to be in this fight flight, right. or freeze like yeah. state mine is always yeah. um being able to hear the the metal knocking against the mast on the dock in grand lake yeah so hearing like, like the whistler too. yeah that right. too the so that was always like my retreat like my safe space when we were doing emdr where i would go and it's the sound for me so if i can imagine the sound i can picture the rest of it and it kind of opens that door for me yeah i have something similar like mine is uh a room in the museum oh. in the uh, prehistoric journey where there's like the pachycephalosauruses and the stream going through and there's just like a smell aspect to it and the sound the and just like that whole room just feels good yeah it's <laughs> so, like i that's my safe calm space that's an interesting one. I like that. Yeah. Yeah. I don't have one. I've if never you were been to calm or happy. Build one, <laughs> where, where would it be? I, I'd have one. It's Grand Lake. It's easy. Yeah. It's not That's, even. Yeah. That was always. Grand Lake was always think. home. Yeah. Like that in my brain is equated to home because that's where we felt the happiest, the freest, the like the most well balanced, yeah. and cared for, and like looked after. I don't know. That was where things were okay. Yeah. Yeah, that's mine. That's easy. Yeah. It's interesting because we... I don't know. Breathing's always a really good one. I have to do something like tactile, too, is um, another one. Because, like, I don't know. I'm very sensory-based. One yeah. that my therapist that I hadn't heard of before that we talked about during my last session was, like, eating something. 
like eat like a pretzel or something and just like appre- appreciate the texture and the different flavors oh, and yeah. stuff mindful taste or like eat eat a piece of chocolate and like feel the wrapper while you unwrap it and like let it melt in your mouth not <laughs> to like belittle it but what if i did that with alcohol and i noticed <laughs> the drunker i was getting would that I don't think that defeats the purpose. I think that's alcoholism. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just just saying if I if I try it I out. I mean, technically, that then people cope using back. alcohol, but it's not. not that a leads to go, bad. It's not a great yeah. coping. Not a good skill. place to start. No. Or finish. Or go. <laughs> yeah. Don't pass not, through. <laughs> I don't think it's recommended. <laughs> I, it was just a thought. You know, I'm just testing out <clears throat> hypotheses. Maybe if you yeah. had like a glass. Of alcohol and you just like tasted it and like swirled it around in your well, mouth and fell. It's like yeah. a wine tasting. And yeah, then like didn't typical. didn't not then like, continue to get, get drunk off well, of let's it. Let's start the thought. The thought was you could do a wine <laughs> tasting because then you're appreciating all the different senses. But then I was like, you could also just notice how drunk you're getting. Yeah. Your brain just ran off with it. <laughs> it's like, hey, let's get shit faced. Not now. <laughs> no, I'm trying to be mindful. Come on, I brain. Really but what if you drink more? anymore? <laughs> it's like, but there's always the option. Have you tried more alcohol? No, I I haven't tried more. <laughs> Shit, you, you're onto something there, brain. I like where you're at. <laughs> We've talked about this more recently. A really good, I don't know if it's necessarily mindfulness, but something that kind of keeps me level is that being able to remember that everything's fluid. Oh yeah, the flux. Yeah. So remembering that, like, okay, this feels shitty right now. But right now is not forever. Yeah. Right. Um, when which, you can do it. Because yeah, there are times when, when it's can. impossible to do. But I get what you're saying. Well, there's, there's, I've had that time with the like, it's unfair. <laughs> and that's been my brain recently is like, this is not fair. It's not fair that I have to make this much effort. Like, why can't the world be kinder to me? <laughs> right. But also, I don't want it to be. No, I get what you're saying. You want it yeah. more passively like a fix for you you don't want someone right. to actively come in and be like what, what's wrong or let me heal you. even Let's if someone would you. just like walk up to me and be like oh my god you work so hard to maintain all of this like that would be enough <laughs> for me to you be need like that yes i do thank parental, you like good job champ right you did it did you have any other skills on that list yeah oh yeah pull that up let me bring my email i'm trying to think up. of my other like favorite ones usually like um, step one is reaching out or stating it out loud yeah, that helps me a lot. That makes a huge difference for me. And I'm not really sure why that is, but being able to say, I don't feel good. Yeah. I do that with Jen. If yeah. I'm having one in the middle of the night, I'll wake her and be like, I'm having a panic attack. And she's like, okay. Yeah. But it helps. Yeah. I right. mean, you're like, someone else is aware of what's happening. Yeah. Especially when you like feel permission. like you're going to die. Yeah. And you're like, I need someone to watch me to make sure I don't die. Like when you take gabapentin too much and you have that like, can't breathe feeling We've i don't talked think about i've this done before. like too much but like coming off of if i miss a dose right where you no, it's like when you're trying to sleep and you're afraid that if you fall asleep you'll stop oh breathing. yeah yeah so you stay awake yeah you're like i don't know what's gonna happen if i fall asleep right oh yeah that happened on lyrica that's why i don't take the lyrica anymore mm. it was too much that's uh that's what was happening with the with the allergic reaction last weekend because yeah. i was like what if my airway is affected while i'm sleeping and i don't know yeah it's Fun. terrible but yeah no stating it out loud is like huge that's top tier for me i think it's just being like i don't feel good yeah do you have the opportunity to do that at all state it out loud yeah just yeah. like or telling somebody yeah i mean i usually like reach out to a friend like i said before like i had my friend ask me if i had tried breathing right <laughs> And it helps because yeah. you yeah. realize you weren't breathing. Yeah. Well, and that's kind of what we do. Like, we go back and forth with, like, I feel bad. Like, I don't feel good at all. What's going on? And then we'll go, hey, what have you done for distractions? Yeah. Or, like, do you have any distractions? Have you done the things? Yeah. Did you do your things? <laughs> Did you like the things? No. <laughs> it was life. <laughs> yes. Yeah. But no, I think it's, I don't know. That helps a lot. Yeah. But. I think it takes the weight off of it. Like you're like, you don't have to hold it onto it by yourself. You can just be like, hey, excuse me. I have this thing here. Now you know about it. (laughs) Not the only one. Yeah. There's, I had a thought and I lost it. 
Mm. It was a really good one too. What was it? It was gonna be amazing. Better chase it down. It's gone. It's forever. gone forever. What other skills do we have, Kaylee? <laughs> um, <laughs> listening to music. Like I yeah. like to listen to music oh, yeah. that I can sing along to, because mm-hmm. that gets my like whole brain distracted. Yeah. I do that too. I like going for a walk to get like a change of scenery. Yes. That one's huge. Like I have to be in motion. Yeah. Like I said, it's that, like putting your body to work in a different way. Like give it a task. Like if my if everything's gonna be freaking out, let's give it a job to do. My equivalent is doing stuff with Sophie. Yeah. I'll be like, Sophie, I don't feel good. Let's do stuff. Yeah. You know? <laughs> Distractions. And she's always down. She's yeah. so sweet. You just have nice kids. They're good kids. Fact. Just Weird. overall. <laughs> <laughs> don't know how that happened. <laughs> At all. It's not like they were raised with empathy. Yeah, don't know her. (laughs) Sometimes we wish we didn't know her. That's true. (laughs) I regret my empathy. (laughs) Can can I return it? (laughs) I don't want it. Yeah. Like when Jen's having a bad time and then I'm having a bad time because she is. Mm -hmm. Fun. Yeah. What else? Um, Containment exercises. What so it's like, um, this one wouldn't be good for you because it's a lot like body scan. Oh. But like, you picture like a container and you like have to go into your brain and like mm-hmm. pick out your emotions that you, that are not serving you. You put them in the box. You can do that with like the physical sensations too. Yeah. So like for me, I end up like picking it out of like my throat. Right. Where you and hold I have it. To, like, I have to picture it for me personally. I have to picture like pulling, separating those things yeah. from myself and putting them into this box. And then once you've got everything that you don't want right now in your box, you put a lid on it and you put it away. Hmm. I feel like that one would be really good if you had had if if you've had practice with the MDR. That makes sense. Yeah, because it's very much that whole like because that's what you do through EMDR is like. We did like healing light is Mm. one that they Mm -hmm. do a lot or like having a conversation with you, like your younger self or your older self or whoever, or having a conversation Mm. with um, like people who've wronged you or you felt wronged by and just saying everything you needed to say. Um, So, yeah, I think that one could be useful if you've got the tools. Yeah, exactly. Like a good foundation for the tools. That's an interesting one. I hadn't like thought about doing that outside of emdr yeah i like that one i like that i'm gonna try that i think we'll see i've got another one that's like grounding um i was having like a really tough time a couple weeks ago and i got out some play-doh that my friend gave me for my birthday and it's like rainbow play-doh so it was like white play-doh and it had like colored play-doh on top of the rainbow and like i was just like watching a tv show and like separating the colors until yeah. I had all the colors split up into the cubes and then I like peeled the white layer off and there's more colors underneath so I was like hyper focused on separating the colors right and like before I knew it like I didn't even realize I was doing it I was just playing with play-doh yeah and then I was like I feel so much better than I did half an hour ago wow and I wasn't even trying to do grounding exercises mm-hmm. so like that's like it gets you tactically involved right yeah yeah I keep fidgets at work for that reason because it it's i don't know there's just something regulating about having it's that same thing like you need a task yeah (laughs) like you're being ridiculous being idle so let's try something else Mm -hmm. (laughs) like my brain was bored so i had a panic attack that's (laughs) i mean some of the times i've I've gone into rebuild computers or work on them is during a panic attack yeah. Or like a, a manic episode where mm-hmm. I need to do something that I can right. focus and you're in like, on. Let's and... find something that's appropriate yeah. to do. Like I'll do dishes. <laughs> that's fair. Yeah. Or at work, I've found. I don't know. Work is interesting because there's a lot of like co-regulation I have to do with kids. Yeah. Just to like tr- teach them how to manage their own emotions. Um, and then at work, like or not at work, when I come home, it's different because Randy and I have a different relationship when it comes to like eq and communication of emotions um so generally i just state what's going on with me and i state my need but it took a lot of practice to be able to identify needs and now that's part of like my 
sustained self-talk where I can pause and go, okay, what do you need? Like, what what do we need to be a little better? What do we need? What's going to feel good? <laughs> like, what's going to fill it's, it's funny. I do that for purpose. Jen. Yeah. When she's having a bad time, I'll help her work work it out that way. It's co-regulation. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, but I don't do it to myself. Really? No. Jen, Jen's, like, her first step is the check-in, right? Like, yeah. we went over. That's, she'll go through the things to see if I've done everything. Yeah. And, I mean, that's how I remember, really. It's so, like, the other day, I was, my back was killing me and I couldn't sleep. And she's like, have you tried taking... Uh, Baclofen. I was like, mm-hmm. oh no, I didn't even think of that. Yeah, because I, there, I well, wasn't once looking you're for a solution. Yeah. yeah. Well, and sometimes it's hard to want to look for a solution because I think it goes back to that, like feeling misunderstood by the people you're seeking help from. Mm-hmm. Um, and so when you're dealing with something that's like depression, you don't want someone to try to fix you necessarily. You want someone to understand you. Um, and so it can be a really slippery slope to be like, what do you need? I don't know. I saw something recently that said, this is like common among people with like ADHD. It's like you, like, for example, you have a headache, Mm -hmm. you know that you can take Tylenol for that headache, but it doesn't occur to you to take Tylenol for your headache. Like Mm -hmm. that just, you don't make that connection. Right. And that's, I do that for Jen and Jen does that for me, really. Yeah. I do it to myself and I do it for Randy. Like, I don't think Randy will offer things, but he also has this habit of, um, in the midst of offering, he'll be like, I wonder if it's because this, Mm. and I'm like, please stop trying to find the because, because there's never going to be a like set in stone because he's like, maybe it's because of milk or maybe it's because of exercise or yes. So he's very fix it brain. And so he goes between, like back and forth between the fix it brain and then he's starting to learn like other ways to approach it mm-hmm. that make him feel like he's done something, I guess, um, and are helpful no, for that's me. Good. If you yeah. can get that feeling, then because then he we fill so both helpless. of our needs yeah. and then we're okay with it. So that's good. In the end, I finally had like we had to have a conversation about like what do you want from me when you're in pain? I'm like I want you to just be like okay, you're in pain. I acknowledge where you're at just want to be seen that's it yeah, yeah. exactly like Ow. what ow eh, my hip i see yeah. you Ow. i'm a pull it <laughs> oh. <laughs> just to dislocate everything your ankle would dislocate before Shut up. anything else you don't know when you're but i do see, like we'll just break him stupid can't even afford you coffee. did say you wanted your legs broken <laughs> dumb dumb okay break his like, dumb break legs. legs his dumb poor legs <laughs> his can't even stupid, buy coffee you idiot leg you I will break both of your legs. Thank you. I mean, you break it. your legs or I'll do it for you. <laughs> yes, ma'am. <laughs> Perfect. Legs or I'll do it for you. Yes. Oh, my God. But, yeah, no, he's very fix-it-minded, so we have a different manner of communication from other people where if he's offering have... things, I tune him out. Do you have that support from somebody? Like, I know no. you, you message people, but, like, not even from like your mom or anything Mm-mm. that sucks well it's hard too because like when you're talking invisible illness yeah and then you're talking invisible illness and mental illness i feel like i don't know there's a, like tears of visibility in my mind yeah and mental illness is almost completely invisible and so it's hard for people to like quantify it i guess when thinking about other people's mental states Mm. yeah i don't i don't know i can remind you to take your meds (laughs) i only have the one i can remind you though okay i I remind her actually i was listening to your podcast yesterday (laughs) and i got to the intermission and it's like go hydrate yourself take your meds and i was like i haven't taken my meds today (laughs) yes it worked (laughs) we did it guys good we helped one time. Yes. Maybe, Maybe twice. Did it help you? Comment down below. Don't. <laughs> do no, it. do Comment. it. Comment. Ooh, Stop YouTube telling them chill. not to. Shut did up. you remember to take your meds? I hope so. <laughs> we did give you the opportunity. Yes. And if you but didn't, if you didn't, if you didn't it, take it, okay. do it now. Yeah. Right. Don't put it off. That just It's going to lead to bad stuff later just on. Just pause right. the podcast. Go get your meds. <laughs> we'll be here when you get back. Yeah, we're not going anywhere. 
<laughs> Everybody run. <laughs> Bail. <laughs> run. <laughs> so tell us about this podcast you were listening to. Sounds sexy. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I'd call it sex. Grading. <laughs> We're siblings. It can't be. No, that's weird. Yeah, I can be sexy, but not together. Yeah. Only one of us can be sexy at a time. <laughs> that's stupid. It's always you. <laughs> it shouldn't be me. I don't want to be it anymore. Sexy siblings. <laughs> sexy, sexy, and frog. No, thank you. <laughs> Well, there goes my dream. <laughs> Podcast over. It's Podcast ruined. over. Oh, man. Tragedy strikes. Mm-hmm. Right in the feels. Right in the, <laughs> right in the, right in the patriarchy. <laughs> Did you see that one yet, Kaylee? Um, yes. <laughs> I love that one. That one got hyped. That yeah. was the one that blew up. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's fantastic. I like it. It's a good one. Yeah. <sighs> you done? I'm tired. We can be done. I know we're all kind of like phasing out, so it might be a good time. Or we could just drag this out until let's drag it let's out. Make you guys four got hours. any more coping skills? Oh, I've got tons of coping skills. I don't. Yes, you do. I don't remember them though. That's okay. So let's talk about that. Like, how do you remember to use your coping skills when you're in crisis? Because that's that's a common thing. Like when you are in crisis, part of your brain, I feel like, I don't know. Tell me if this resonates with you at all. Part of my brain when I am out of control is like it feels good to be out of control. And oh, I yeah. don't want yeah, to. Like I don't want to fix it. Yeah. Yep. I want to feel it in all of its horrid glory. <laughs> That's part of why my first step is usually to reach out to someone yeah. or tell them how I'm feeling. Because mm-hmm. then they tell me what to do. And I don't have to come up with that on my own. Because if I'm left to my own devices, I'm going to do something stupid. Fair. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I mean, I when I was learning how to do it, I would, Jen would do it. Like she would. She would kind of check in on it, I guess. Yeah. And then eventually you just start to use it like a habit, I guess. Like yeah. habitual. Mm-hmm. If you do it enough. It kind of becomes routine. Right. Yeah. Another thing that you can do is like when you're feeling well. Oh, that's Sit one. down yeah. and take the time to like write down that's what huge. your coping skills are. Like I did that uh, with my therapist. She put them all in that email that she sent to me. Yeah. Like we just went through the list together came up with like all the coping skills that she knows that I have all the ones that I know that I have yeah and now I have that list that's nice that I can go back to when I need it well the other thing is acting them out when you're doing well like doing it when you're not in need of them is a good way to like building the scaffolding underneath the skill exactly yeah that makes sense I had to do that with with the countdown yeah Um, I think I've done it with self-talk mostly. Right. Where I've kind of shifted the self-talk from like blatant abuse to, (laughs) haha, now it's funny abuse. (laughs) (laughs) It's a joke, so it's okay. Exactly. Um, My homework for therapy this week was I'm supposed to practice being mindful for one minute at a time, five times a day. And it could be like anything just to focus on the present. Mm. Like I could go enjoy some like a cup of coffee or like have a donut and just savor the taste right or like go outside and just like lay on the deck and feel the sun um and that's like even if you're feeling fine you just use that to recharge like um she compared it to reiki Mm. like getting energy from the earth um I actually really like that. Yeah. Yeah. It's like, just take take a yeah. minute, five times a day to recharge your battery. Yeah. That's interesting. That's kind of like when I take naps in the afternoon. <laughs> when I hit the, the point where I'm like, I need 30 minutes. <laughs> I'm going to take a nap. I've been taking Shut baths down. again. Oh, those where are I'm good. like, I'm going to have a bath. And I went last night, I lit a bunch of candles because I didn't want the light on. And I laid in the bath and I listened to the Montero album. <laughs> As like long as you twice. Don't block out in the tub. Right. Well, and I had my feet propped up against the <laughs> Who does that? Thing, and then that was fine. I've only hmm. happened to me twice. 
You have to make sure you're in a position not to pass out. Or if you pass out, you won't drown. That I'm always in a position where I can't drown. Yeah. Always. Never, never be in drown position. I mean, never I've... turn your back on a gallon of milk. <laughs> <laughs> Don't let the milk know you're afraid. Yeah. I've taken naps in the tub on purpose. It's yeah. just like, as long as I know I'm propped up. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. It's just blacking out. It's way more terrifying. Because <laughs> you could just slump in yourself into the into the water and that's it. It's game yeah. over, guys. <laughs> You what happened? You need to get yourself like a little like a neck collar. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's a, I need a hot tub. I need to get a life jacket for the tub time. <laughs> do you have the perfect tub for it, though? I do. I'm very thankful I'm I have that tub. I'm very jealous of your tub. It's a good People tub. can use it whenever. I really don't care. I'm just going to start coming over for bath. <laughs> time to soak. Have fun. Be like, I don't have to time. work today. I'm coming over to take a bath. <laughs> <laughs> I'll I'll make like gym keys so you guys can unlock Ooh, the yeah. front door and then put like a lock Perfect. on it. Perfect. Yeah. So that, you know. You, you can... put like an occupied sign outside yeah, yeah. of it. Yeah. In use. We'll put Perfect. up a block schedule. Yes. <laughs> sign up online. Yeah. Let's let's do a digital. <laughs> so you don't accidentally have two people show up and take a bath <laughs> well, at the same time. <laughs> oh boy. You gotta share the tub. The shenanigans. Just sitting in your kitchen waiting for the tub to be available. <laughs> I'm waiting for my turn. It clearly says on the schedule, it's my turn. Get out I of the bath. the schedule, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's too late. I'm already in it, bitch. The hot water has been used. Oh, Actually, we have two hot water heaters, so that's Ooh, not possible. Oh, that's brilliant. Oh, you want to bet? <laughs> I know. Let's go. How many times can you warm up? Okay, okay, wait, wait, wait. I Uh-oh. have to talk Uh-oh. about this because I was curious Uh-oh. about it and it was weird. Um, so the left half of my body, we know, has like decreased sensation. Yeah. When I'm in the tub and I know it's hot, my left side is lying to me and says that we are cold. Oh, it's interpreting the heat like inverse? Yes. Interesting. And it's like that weird cold flush feeling. Yeah. And only on my left side. That is bizarre. It was very, very weird. And I was like, the, I know the water is hot. Yeah. I know the water is hot. Why are we telling me that it's cold? Why? I had Why? That on Lyrica something similar, but it wasn't just a side. It was like it was weird all over. It was very weird. I don't know. That is bizarre. And it was like very stark difference between my right side sensation and my left. And it's like whole body so yeah. weird. I don't know why. I'm, I'm numb on the left, too. Yeah. But I don't have that. That's just you problem. It was just weird. I was like, what the fuck are we doing with temperature? Yeah. Well, and yesterday I was weird with temperature anyway. Like, I was doing the... <laughs> we're gonna sh- we're gonna sweat and have goosebumps at the same yeah. time. Yeah. Hell, you were doing that when you came over. Yeah. <laughs> we were over for like happening. five minutes. And I was like, it's hot and cold and I'm uncomfortable. Yeah. Yeah. We, ha- we need to do camera time. Okay. Are we doing camera time? We can do or camera do time or we can say end goodbye. It. I can say goodbye. We can say goodbye. I can say bye. You want to say goodbye? No. No? We, we could not <laughs> Never say goodbye. Stop me. We can keep going. I don't have anything going on today but this. <laughs> we could we could do some drawing. All right. <gasps> yes. Yeah. Yes. All right then. Okay, we're going to art. Art time. Yay. Okay. Don't forget to art. Yep. We love you. Don't forget to join the Discord. Um do it. Like, share, subscribe, comment. We love hearing from you. Mm-hmm. And we're really good about getting back to our commenters. Um, so let us know if you have topic ideas or if something resonated with you or, you know, if, you if you're having a bad day, wanted to say that you don't feel good. That's OK. Yeah. Too. Scream into the ether. Yeah. Make yourself heard. Yeah. There's whole channels for that in the discord. Exactly. Go that join the discord. It's stuff. cool stuff, man. <laughs> You'll like it. I promise. <laughs> All right. If you don't, you get your money back. Uh, <laughs> all of it we guarantee all zero dollars and zero zero cents there's a lot of zeros it's amazing okay look at all the zeros <laughs> i'll look at your zeros later edit the zeros in here yeah here's look at the zeros. all the zeros it just keeps going and going and zero dollars all the way done all right on that note we're getting a little silly so we will say goodbye yes Um, We appreciate Kaylee joining us. And there's our timer. Bye, everybody. Bye. Bye.